Hey guys, it's Bob Ferngren and I'm back with another eight minute video. And uh, my videos are all about network marketing, specifically social media, because that's kind of our number one way of connecting in the world today. Chances are, if you're watching this, you switched over from Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or Snapchat to uh, head to YouTube to watch this. Isn't that interesting? So you can't really push back on the fact that you're on social media. So that means everyone you know is on social media. But I also take some side avenues, if you will, to kind of make sure you understand everything within the context. And I've been sharing with you, it's critically important to gather customers. You know, that those days from decades ago of just recruiting business builders and getting paid to sign people up and all that, that stuff's way over with. Legitimate MLMs, legitimate network marketing companies, legitimate direct sales companies, legitimate social selling companies, all have great product lines and they're all about selling and servicing customers, right? That's, and I use that really, I think it's a great analogy or example, if you will. Um, let's say you're in the cosmetics business. And so you open up one of those cosmetic franchises. I don't really know the names. I won't go into the names, how about that? But there's one that has like three letters, starts with M, ends with C. There's an A in the middle, so I won't name any names. I don't know if that's a franchise, a company store, but let's just assume it's a franchise for the fun of this. Well, what's your job? Sell the makeup. You know, sell that stuff that people use. I mean, that's kind of your job, right? And if you own the place, you want to sell a lot of that stuff, don't you? But let's say you're kind of a bigger picture thinker that, um, wow, I have one Mac. And so that's kind of cool. What if I had another one? Now there's only one me, so that means I've got to hire a general manager. And um, you know what, in order for it to run well, you know, for that person to have a vested interest, I'm gonna give them a pretty good chunk of the action and I'll keep the rest for myself. So that means through my influence and and money, because franchises take a lot of money, unlike network marketing, which are virtually nothing um, to start. It takes quite a bit of money, so that dude puts his money down, opens the store, hires the manager, gives him a piece of the action. Manager's really good with integrity, and so he doesn't have to show up there a whole lot, and so he gets a piece of that action. Well, but that worked once, can I keep doing it? Sure, you're a good Mac operator. They're gonna give you more and more and more because they like how you run them, and, and so you've got your store that you work and you're always wanting more customers, but you also have all these other stores. Well, that's what a business builder is, okay? And so over the last few business, over the last few videos rather, I've been sharing with you our system. Our system is gather customers and then gather some business builders. But guess what the business builders you're gonna do are gonna gather? They're gonna gather customers and some business builders. And then guess what those guys are gonna do? They're gonna gather customers and they're gonna gather some business builders. See, that's the model. That is the model. Lots and lots and lots of customers mixed in with a few business builders at every level and we're rocking and rolling. But in order to get business builders, you gotta focus on it. You know, people aren't mind readers. People don't know you have a business. People don't know there's an opportunity to make money. People don't know how this business is really done. I mean, people have the craziest things in their mind about our business. You know, it's amazing the crap they have. But, you know, maybe there were some bad business models. Let me tell you, there's been a whole lot more regular corporate business models that are scams and ripoffs and unfair. I mean, here, are you aware? There's probably a number of network marketing companies where distributors make more than the corporate employees make. I, that ain't happening at the corporate, you know, in a regular corporate company. 
So, you know, don't buy that lie, okay? Oh, MLMs or network marketing companies or whatever, you know, the bad crap people say about us. You know what they are? They're jealous or they're weak or quite frankly, most likely, I shouldn't have said those two things. I want to be nice. They're ignorant. Ignorant means they haven't spent any time really understanding it. So we know that a lot of people, jealous, stupid, ignorant, whatever they are, they're, they're not come looking for us. That's not going to happen, right? I mean, the only people who really come looking for network marketing company are one, um, they've probably been in another network marketing company and it's their time to get control of their finances again. So that's one example. What would be another example? I would say just randomness. You hear about somebody doing well and you check it. So there's no other way other than us to be able to present the opportunity to other people. It has to be done by people already in network marketing companies. I mean, you can't, you're can't. you not gonna run an ad and some go-getter is gonna go, oh, yeah, I'm gonna join that network marketing company because my dream has been to sell candles or kitchenware or essential oils or stretchy pants or lashes or nutrition. That's my dream. I wanna do a lot of that. Nobody wakes up wanting to do that. Um, so really, it's us. We are the presenters of the opportunity. Now, if all you want to do is retail in our business, that's okay. You can just retail products. That's wonderful. But if you're looking to tap into the wealth creation, the bigger money, helping significantly more people, then you have to, you have to see that, yes, I have my own store. You know, let's say it's nutrition you're in. I have my own store. I'm going to maximize that. But did you know if like that store is rocking, it's the busiest nutrition store on the planet Earth, it has a cap on it. It's capped by things like when you open and when you close. When you're closed, no one's buying anything in that bricks and mortar store. I don't know if you knew that or not. Um... But in network marketing, our business is open 24-7, 365 days a year. That's a big advantage. That puts us in so much better a category than having to pay the rent, having to deal with you know, all the things, creating the advertisement, dealing with the employees. Um, there's certainly a lot of government compliance issues you have to do. Um, there's dealing with suppliers, you know, people need to find you. So you probably need to create a website. I mean, the, the list goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And I have no idea why, but thank God many do want a business that's based on bricks and mortar in this era of time, but good for them. See, I feel like I woke up. I feel like I woke up. Now, here's the deal. You see all that cool stuff I just told you? A true go-getter would be interested in hearing from you if you presented the opportunity correctly. And to me, it's really, really simple. Hey, Joe, you know, I've got this incredible side hustle. You know, we're, we've been able to use it to be able to meet whatever obligation, pay off whatever debt. I like seeing that school open. Um, meet whatever, go, you know, pay cash for a vacation. We talk about what it's done for us. We can also talk about factually what it's done for others. Hey, I have this friend that, you know, I've joined his team and uh, this dude is really rocking it and he's accomplished these things in, in his life through this network, you know, through this opportunity. And I mean, I can't think of anybody better that I'd love to share this with than you. I think you would do great. Would you be willing to give me 15 minutes to take a look at it? You see that? Now, of course, I'm an 18 year veteran and I have some posture, some swag about me. But the truth is, 
The type of people that you're looking for for your business need to hear the business from you strong. Not you're trying to sell them, but that you have an opportunity that you truly believe in, like down into your marrow, that you're excited about your preferred better future, that you are supported with a great team, great company, great products, great pay plan. Again, that, that's all in you when you're presented. Listen, dude, I, I don't know if you would be interested or not, but I'm so excited about what I'm doing. I just really wanna share this with you. I need 15 minutes of your time. You see, professionals set professional appointments. Professionals set professional appointments. Today, I have two professional appointments this afternoon. Now, I'm gonna talk more about this in future videos because I think the breakthrough is understanding the business model, its customers, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of customers mixed in with a few business builders and then duplicating that, duplicating that, duplicating that. Hey, let's go.